kind of just talk about the winners of the week. Yeah. So, Let's um, go DJ first. You want to go DJ first? Yeah. All right, so, perfect. So a little different than Jason Day and Cam Smith. And um, yeah, let's talk about it. So the one difference really with DJ is that everyone knows he bows his lead wrist in the backswing. Okay. So which means he shuts the club face like this. Mm -hmm. And because of that, he doesn't have the perfect like short pinch or like short thumb like we've talked about with claws like for a strong grip. He goes more neutral and then elongates the thumb print down the shaft a little bit to where it allows him to be a little bit more mobile with flexion. Because with flexion, if you have a short thumb, it drastically shuts the club face more so than if you have a little longer thumb with the um, like it's more in your palm. So it doesn't have as much of like a direct influence on the club face. Oh, got so, it. So, so there's not going to be as like, much gear effect at the correct. bottom of this way. Yeah. So a lot of gear effect, that's a recipe correct. for disaster. I got you. So he uses like <laughs> a neutral lead hand position. Um, we'll say lead thumbprint is at like opposed to 12 o'clock straight up and down on the super stroke grip. He's at like maybe about 130, 2 o'clock. Okay. Mm. And then with the trail hand, it's perfectly strong and perfectly pinched. And that V is going basically at his trail shoulder. And then when he goes back, he sets it back to where he... Basically, right in his bat, first move, right? like he doesn't do anything except <laughs> presets his wrists and his arms and locks his elbows. And then from there, as we call it, like the functional unit, claws and swing triangle, he just keeps pushing and stretching that to the top and then goes underneath, like from the top to pre impact and then just pushes and then maintains a perfectly um like skyward grooves or grooves to the sky position at post impact which is very impressive it's, it's super impressive and it's actually like polar opposite of where it's at in the takeaway right Be <laughs> uh, one thing i used to do um with his golf swing when i used to teach is um with video is like if you look at his takeaway his face angle is perfectly matching his spine angle and then when you look at his um face angle relative to his spine angle at post impact it's again perfectly matched in his spine angle so it's perfectly open it's like perfectly closed, closed perfectly and perfectly open, open. And that's so what his we gear say, effect is it. perfectly supported and that's why he's a great player but i think it, a lot of it has to do with his very first move of just presetting like the hands and arms and locking it like preset the hammer now just stretch it back and then you know, understand and, what to do with it from there. For this a lot with my students, probably one of the most common drills I do. We call it the preset drill. Mm -hmm. um, and you're really just presetting your hands to where they're actually going to be at impact, right? Um, and for the average golfer that doesn't actually like feel the proper, uh, like we say, with the fingers up, fingers back, fingers around. Right. Uh, it's a great, this. it's a great way to just really activate your wrists and activate your claws because a lot of people never feel that ever. Right. And it's the best drill, I think, for yeah. anybody. Yeah. It just helps you understand again where you're going. So exactly. Why not right. do it? Be decent. You said one thing with DJ too is that when he gets to the top, he kind of like opens the face in the downswing. Well, because if you shut it like this in the backswing, then you have to go in a clockwise rotation underneath to support oh. like the gear effect. Okay. And then from there, he's just pushing. And then you'll see the face like properly maintained open, but he has to have from the top, when you shut the face this much, he has to have like an increase in um, clockwise rotations with lead hand and arm. Got Scientifically, it. it's like internal lead, <laughs> right. external trail hand Correct. and arm rotation. And that's like the big thing when you see like guys like Gankus and stuff. Right. And they're basically getting their people like max bowed yeah. and then feel that like drop. The underneath move. And underneath move. Correct. I got it. Okay. Right. And then that gets it. So when it's coming into the ball, it's not too shut. Correct. Got it. Okay. In Perfect. my opinion, though, and this is why <laughs> we're stronger it's advocates, difficult. is like whenever you have shots that you hit where the face is too close to the target it's never fun like no. contact becomes a really big problem direction it wrenches your body like the face has to be properly open to the target when you strike the golf ball especially from pretty post impact with the gear effect like that is the key thing that everyone's sharing yeah. in common like on tour and it's uh, like you know or, well that's one thing too is that we are going to talk a lot about when you do twist back that you have to push down properly against the handle to allow the gear effect to happen from the heel to toe relationship of mm, the face correct so you get the proper rotation effects because it's not like we're just coming in holding like the handles just moving forward and the face is never catching up and you're just holding it open the whole way it's like no of course it's not gonna work <laughs> that's why like a big thing that we always talk about with our students and i'm noticing this is now that i'm starting to teach um outside again is that they have to learn how to thump yeah you because have to you push about it, and thumping, thumping means you're pushing, pushing down against the handle with your hands yes. or in your claws and you're applying pressure against the trailing edge 
of the heel. Right, right. Got right, it. exactly. Okay, right like there. here. Yep. Right. Got it. And even if you start off with a lot of forward shuffling like this and you're set up to hit the like lean edge of the heel, uh, you still want to twist back and try to thump the trailing edge because the reverse effect will basically allow you to make proper contact always where a lot of people, when they put the ball back and they forward press the hands, they hit the shot too chunky in Dig. a sense because they're not allowing the twist to happen or they're pushing down against the front of the handle, like in the like, leading edge oh. of the golf club because they're pushing down too steep. And then they take this nasty crater divot that hurts <laughs> so bad. It, it shocks you from body. like, yeah, from claws <laughs> like, to like head to feet. <laughs> it's like being electrocuted. <laughs> it totally is. Yeah. 